Our next award is the Josephina B. Magno Distinguished Hospice Physician Award, which recognizes a physician who provides the highest quality service and demonstrates exemplary dedication to the practice of hospice and palliative medicine. This award is named for one of the founders of the academy, Dr. Joe Magno, who broke new ground in helping the medical profession better understand the need for palliative care for seriously ill patients. She envisioned a world where dying patients could receive comfort, care, and spiritual support. I am pleased to present this year's Josephina B. Magno Distinguished Hospice Physician Award to Dr. Joel Pulitzer. Dr. Pulitzer is Senior Vice President of Medical Affairs at Vitas Healthcare and also serves as a medical director for the Hospice Inpatient Unit at the Florida Medical Center and Sunrise Health and Rehabilitation Center. He is an assistant adjunct professor of medicine at the Florida Atlantic University Schmidt College of Medicine and the Florida International University Wortham College of Medicine. Dr. Pulitzer transitioned his career from oncology practice with part-time hospice work to full-time hospice. He found that training and educating those clinicians who provide optimal end-of-life care, both in the physical and psychosocial domains, is one of the most important things that he does. An active volunteer with the Academy, Dr. Pulitzer has recently served as the senior section editor for PC Facts and has been a contributor to the second and third editions of the Hospice Medical Director's Manual, as well as volunteering in planning the annual assembly. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Joel Pulitzer as this year's recipient of the Josephina B. Magno Distinguished Hospice Physician Award. Thank you. I am truly very honored and very humbled by, uh, by, the, by this award. Uh, it's even more meaningful because I knew Joe Magno. Uh, I was at the 1987 meeting in Estes Park in Colorado uh, to helping to uh, plan the future of this organization. And I got to tell you, if you didn't know Joe, she was a force of nature. Uh, it was uh, truly an honor to work with her. The importance of what we do in hospice, <clears throat> excuse me, was brought home to me uh, and my family uh, a few months ago when my mother-in-law was, uh, was under care. To see the physician who fed her, attempted to feed her and walk her, to see what she was able, himself, to see what she was able to do, to see the nurses and watch the nurses work with this incredibly dignified woman who was humiliated by her uncontrollable diarrhea and to, to watch them say, Rose, don't worry about it. This is what we're doing for you. This is what we're supposed to do. It's okay. And to watch the clinical, the psychosocial people spend as much time as needed with her and with her daughters, uh, it really brought home the importance of what we do. Being on the other side of the stethoscope made, us, made me aware of how important hospice is and also what really is important. It's not the size of the hospice. It's not the, the length of time it's been in business. It's not tax status. What's really important is the quality of care that's delivered at the bedside. And if I have had any small role in moving this model of care forward, I am really very, very appreciative uh, of that. I want to thank my wife, Madeline, who has been my support and my best friend for 47 years. Uh, I have dragged her all over the place with my training and with my work, and she has, well, yeah, she's complained, but, uh, 
has always been there for me. This award is more than 50% hers. I need to thank my sons, Gabe, Jacob, and Seth, who had to share me with my patients. And I may not have always been there for them when they needed me, but as they said very recently, we knew that your patients probably needed you more than, uh, than we did. And I also want to thank the incredibly skilled caring physicians that I have worked with over the years. You are so good that you have forced me to be even better. So thank you very much. And having gone into medicine, I never thought that I would be actually able to say the words, and I would like to thank the Academy. So thank you.